Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a glam makeup tutorial for Thanksgiving and I'm not quite for sure exactly what I'm gonna title this video, but I wanted to do a makeup look that was glam, but at the same time was quick and easy to do. I used the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette today to do this makeup look, but like I tell you guys in the tutorial, you don't have to use this palette to create this look. You can totally recreate this with any eyeshadow palette that you have with similar colors. I went ahead and primed my eyelids with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer and then I just let that dry for a minute and I'm going to be going in with the Soft Glam palette today. If you don't have this palette, just any similar shades that I'm using will work for this look, but I really wanted to use this palette because I think this is such a beautiful palette for like fall makeup looks and especially for Thanksgiving. Like a lot of the colors in here remind me of Thanksgiving. So I'm going to first go in with the shade called Orange Soda and I'm going to put that all in my crease. And I'm just applying that with my Morphe 433 brush, my M433. And I'm just using little circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend that into the crease and also here in the outer V. Next, I'm going in with this shade called Bronze. I'm just going to pat that color here on the first part of my eyelid. And I'm just using my Sigma Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to take it over to about right here. And then I'm just going to leave this last half of my lid free from this eyeshadow. And I'm going to go in with this shade called Mulberry. And then I'm just going to blend this in with my Morphe M506 brush. Just mostly focusing that color here in the outer V and last half of my eyelid. And I'm also just kind of patting that, working that here in the outer V on this little last part of my eyelid. And I am kind of taking that in a little further. Then I'm just going back with some more orange soda and just blending out the top of the crease and around the edges of that mulberry color. So I went ahead and did my foundation and concealer. I'll link down below what I used if you're curious. And then with this look, you could totally do eyeliner if you wanted to, but since I'm just trying to make this like a fast and simple makeup tutorial, I'm just gonna do mascara. And for my mascara today, I'm just gonna use my all-time favorite, my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm just going in with my Makeup Revolution highlighting palette. And I'm just gonna use the gold highlight. I just got my eyelashes recently lifted, like permed and curled up so they're pretty long looking so I don't really necessarily need false lashes false lashes but if you wanted to add those with this look you could and it would be really pretty for the lower lash or for the lower waterline I'm just gonna go in with this um, Rimmel eyeliner in nude just because I want to open my eyes up a little more I'm gonna go in with the gold For my bronzer, let me zoom back out. <laughs> For my bronzer, I'm just gonna use this Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow. And I've actually been enjoying this bronzer ever since I got it. It's definitely more of a warm tone bronzer, so if you have a really cool skin tone, I wouldn't recommend this because it's probably gonna look a little too orangey on you. But since this eyeshadow look has a lot of like orange and like warm colors going on, I find that this bronzer looks really pretty with this look. And also too, this bronzer doubles as a blush, so it's also really quick to use this product because it's kind of like an all-in-one product. And since I'm trying to make this more of a fast and easy makeup look, but yet still be glam, this is a great bronzer for that. And I'm just gonna 
bronze underneath my jawline and also bronze at my neck. And then for my highlight, I'm just gonna use that same golden highlight out of the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm just using my Morphe M438 brush to apply this highlight. It's one of my all-time favorite highlighting brushes. So for Thanksgiving, obviously you're gonna be eating a lot of food, so you might wanna skip on the lip color and just wear like a gloss or something like that. If you do want to wear a lip color, I do recommend something that's gonna be long wearing and you're not gonna to have to worry about it getting all over your face when you're eating or have to worry about touch-ups. So I would recommend these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipsticks. These things last for so long, even after you have been eating they don't get all over your face so I'm gonna be using the one in Amazonian today I think this is a really pretty brown nude I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and I hope that you all have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy today with your family and with your friends. I just love Thanksgiving in this time of the year just to be thankful and to really reflect on all of the things to be grateful for. So yeah, like I said, I hope that you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I hope this tutorial was helpful and maybe inspired you to get glammed up for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so I hope that you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.